Welcome to our water recycling system here. And so what you have in front of you right now is a pond that's full of wastewater. All of the water from cleaning tanks, cleaning barrels, uh, cleaning up the, the floors, our gray water, all of the wastewater comes into this particular uh, pond right here. And then, by gravity, take a look. This holds uh, a couple of million gallons of water right here. And you can see we have it surrounded by plants that um, help clean the water and help reoxygenate the water and also provide a habitat for aquatic birds and ducks and things. And so once this pond um, gets uh, full enough with wastewater, then by gravity it flows through this constructed wetlands right here. And think of this constructed wetlands as a kidney. And so the water, the cleanup water, the, the dirty winery wastewater flows into this living kidney right here. And it takes about eight to 10 days for the water to move through. And in a very real sense, the water is composted because it's the bacteria that live on the roots of the pl uh, plants that break down the organic, uh, organic materials in the wastewater and clean it. And then when these plants blow back and forth in the wind, they pump oxygen into the water. So the water is cleaned and reoxygenated and then goes into the pond down there at the bottom where the clean water is stored. And it's amazing. It's so clean, you could almost drink it. And then we grow this fern over the top called a zola, which then prevents sunlight from shining through. It keeps the water cold and it keeps algae from growing. And algae, of course, is a big problem for us because it, it would clog our pumps and uh, screw up our irrigation systems if we had any algae in it. So we naturally cover the pond with a lid made up of, made up of a fern called azola. So again, a completely living system to recycle up to three million gallons of, of wastewater into pure water that we use for irrigation, for our gardens and vineyards when we need it.